Multiple reports from earlier this year claimed that Google is working on the iterations of the Google Glass headset, including one specifically aimed at the workplace, called the Enterprise Edition. We may now have the first glimpse at what this upcoming device could look like. An FCC document published this week shows a version of Glass that looks similar to the first-generation Google Glass, though it comes with a hinge that allows it to be folded, making the device more portable and mobile. As seen in the images in the FCC document, the second-generation Google Glass is almost identical to the original Google Glass, retaining the nose bridge and glass prism. The new hinge can be seen in all the images in the document. Other notable differences include the change of the position of the power button, which has been moved to the back. As you may have surmised, the first generation of Google Glass could not be folded. The glass prism mounted on top is larger, meant to expand the field of view. The FCC document also features a user manual, which contains some more details. The plastic cube just above your right eye allows you to interact with the device. The home screen is your starting point. By default, the display shows you the current time, read the user manual. The camera button is located on top of the device near the display. Press the camera button to take a photo. Hold it down to record a video. The green light shows when the camera is on, it added. The manual adds there is now a camera light on the front of the device, which will turn to green when the camera is on, great news for privacy enthusiasts. The charging port is different, too. There is a set of pogo pins with large circles on either side of the contacts. The timing of the filing adds more weight to the previously reported 2016 launch time frame for the second generation Google Glass. 9 to 5 Google reports the company will distribute the wearable through Glass for work startups, and has already sent out the device to hundreds of people. The partners are likely already loading their proprietary software onto the device. The company has had a Glass for Work certified partner program in place since June last year.